so guys i'm going to check in today is thursday in the evening boy i'm making some pain I don't know if anybody know how oh, um gas pain feel. This is probably kind of come like it, but two times worse. It's like it's moving and moving and moving and moving. Oh, some bottom, maybe move bottom. Yes, so it 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 then I go back and then come have injection from the bottom. That still hurt me. My hand is all messed up from the drip. See it red and I some bump bump on it and it can hurt me. Hey, it's just a lot. I try to make because of myself, my feet breaking, everything. I try to do breaking my face in my bed. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another video. Today is my COVID test for surgery on Monday, so it's now like 7 26. I got here by about 7 21, and the testing begins at 8, so it's between 8 and 9 a.m. Yeah, so I'm documenting this and I'll tell you guys how I feel after and what happens and then Monday I will video my day of surgery so I will put these two days together in one video don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more updates so um, I got through about 30 minutes ago but I was kind of sitting and chilling so you know, um, let my pores get dry and things because I was sweating because um, we have to walk down the stairs and then up and then up the stairs back to leave. So I'm gonna use the bathroom and I'm gonna hit the road. And the next time you see me will probably be on Monday when I am gonna do surgery. So um. Don't forget to hit that like button because it's hard for me to share these personal things and I'm sharing my experiences with you guys so that no one else is afraid to share theirs and they'll know that they're not alone. Thank you. Um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and share so that I can hit my goal of a thousand subscribers soon. Guys, I'm going into surgery now. Going into surgery now guys. So when I come out, I'll let you guys know. So guys, um, as you can see, I just come out of surgery. I get a good sleep that I can see. Uh, I see no pain. The drip was very painful. So, um, thank you all for tuning in, and um, I'll let you keep you guys updated. Right now, my pain is getting my bottom and my vagina and my belly bottom.
So guys, I'm in a lot of pain. Um, sleepy. I'm better than the glad for the nice sleep. Still the one that's sedated me. So, yeah, it felt actually bad news because they found some, they found some pallets that are concerning. My doctor was at the Hyatt and I have to pay for those to go to the lab and get tested. So this way they were, those were for inside as well as to go to the IUD. So now I'm bleeding, bleeding. Yeah, so. Right. All right, guys. So I take my drive is here. I'm gonna leave now. They're gonna put me out in a wheelchair. So when I get in the car, I will update you. So I'm home now. I'm in a lot of pain, especially my bottom. Um, got home from to two and my surgery was like after eight when i woke up the first time after the surgery i was in so much pain so um they gave me an injection and sedated me again i know i was crying but i couldn't i couldn't open my eyes i couldn't open my eyes I was just feeling pain and couldn't move. It's not a nice feeling. You just wake up from anesthesia. It's, it makes you feel dead. And thank you for all your well wishes. Because I know somebody is going to give me well wishes. Thank you. So the, the when I finally woke up back again, even though I was crying and stuff, I was alert. They told me that they found some polyps in my uterus, which are very concerning. So I had to pay an extra fee for lab, and that wasn't the plan. The plan was just to get out the marina, which was causing me pain and bleeding. But no, they see other stuff, so they sent it off to the lab to see what it is, what if it's cancer or whatever it may be so I can continue to get treatment for that I have clinic October 7th but I should go back to the surgery place September 24th follow up um, so yeah I'm in pain I haven't eaten yet because they said they, you shouldn't have anything to eat in the morning uh -huh. so I, I haven't eaten since yesterday so I'm gonna try and eat now and take whatever I need to take. I was prescribed a one dose antibiotics. My mother is going to get that antibiotics currently. So yeah. Um it's most of my bottom hurting me mostly and see me here she's sitting on my bottom when Later come, I know say me go sore, me go feel more pain in tender because the medicine with them give me for the sedate me and for the pain, it's wearing off. I can feel it wearing off already. They use the big, the big, the, she use the big needle, um, to put in the drip. 
so when i when i woke up the entire bag of drip was gone into me and the first thing i wanted to do was go pee i actually got up by myself to pee and the nurse was saying where are you going if you drop any little backside now they're gonna say i wasn't watching you she's a nice nurse though i liked her she and dr ariat the other people not so much dr ariat is a dr ariat is a great doctor at the UN to fertility unit my experience today was not bad the nurses I got were okay and I got my surgery done by the best doctor so thanks be to God thank you Jesus all right so I'm actually I sweat right now my heart um, this is goodbye for now um i'll probably update you guys tomorrow so you can know how i'm feeling in the morning hopefully in case i don't thank you for watching my video um share my video so others can know their experience my experience was good there it's just that when i woke up i was in an extreme amount of pain so they had to sedate me and give me more pain meds I took my original pain meds when I got home because they're not supposed to take any medication until the surgery is finished. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Share up my video. Go and check out my campaign where I'm raising money for my surgery finances. Yeah, guys, so I'm gonna try to eat something, bed, and lay down because i tell you this pain is kicking my ass literally thank you for watching um i'll probably post this video after i update you guys tomorrow in the morning and then i'll probably vlog again when i'm going for my follow-up in two weeks so you need to subscribe so you can know what's going on after i have removed my marina iud plus the polyps that were found in my uterus so keep in touch subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video love you guys ciao